Number 9. Four reactions are given. That is ozone plus oxygen atom. So, in presence of chlorine atom gives 2O2. This takes place in gas space. And 2, 2 CO carbon monoxide plus oxygen gas giving carbon dioxide. Then 3, C12 H22O11 that is a cane sugar or sucrose that is hydrolyzed in presence of dilute sulfuric acid we get glucose and fructose. This is H12O6 and again C6 H12O6 glucose and fructose. And 4, this is an ester RCOO or dash plus H2O hydrolysis of ester in presence of strong mineral acid H plus RCOOH that is the acid plus R dash OH that is the alcohol the product. Now, the options are 1 and 2 are examples of homogeneous catalysis, B 3 and 4 are examples of homogeneous catalysis, C all are examples of heterogeneous catalysis and D all are examples of homogeneous catalysis. So, which one is correct? Now, you see that this first reaction takes place in gas phase when reactant and product and catalyst all are in gas phase that is homogeneous catalysis. Here also carbon monoxide and oxygen giving carbon dioxide all are in the gaseous phase and this is also homogeneous catalysis and 3 hydrolysis of cane sugar or sucrose in presence of sulfuric acid giving glucose and fructose. This takes place in liquid, liquid phase that is the in solution. So, all are in liquid phase and 4 ester is hydrolyzed by strong mineral acid giving the acid and alcohol. This also takes place in what is called the liquid phase, so the in solution. So, all the 4 are examples of homogeneous catalysis only. So, what is homogeneous catalysis? The reactant product catalyst if all are in the same physical state that is called homogeneous catalyst. If the physical state differs then it is called heterogeneous catalyst for example, Haber's process. So, as far as this problem is concerned the option D is correct. So, go for the option D all are examples of homogeneous catalysis. So, go for the option D.